Hello, in this video, I am gonna show you how to delete text. So what do I mean by deleting text? So if I'll put a command on here, like this command, for example, this was used to rename one of the videos that I created yesterday. So if we want to, let's say, delete some of this, you know, one of the obvious ways is backspace. We can, you know, start deleting like that, just delete one character at a time, and there's another command for it, control H, does the same thing okay that's pretty cool you can also let's say if i'm on the open square bracket if i press ctrl d you'll delete whatever's on the cursor so it basically deletes to the right instead of to the left if i you know do backspace here it deletes to the left and ctrl d deletes to the right delete key does the same thing as ctrl d now if i go here what happens if i press Alt D instead. If I press Alt D, it basically deletes it as if it was words. So if I do MV, it'll delete all that and then it'll delete all that. You know how you, if you're in like a Word document and you're moving with, let's say, the Alt key and you're jumping over words for fast traversal, it's sort of similar to that. So let me get another command. So another command right here. I'll keep using the move command, it's just because they're pretty long. That is the only reason why now watch what happens if i just go anywhere in the middle and i'll press ctrl k it will delete including what the cursor's on up to the end so that's great if you want to delete most of it instead of keeping the delete key press like that so let's go another pretty long command okay this is a relatively long command and maybe you want to delete the entire line or from a certain point where the cursor's on to the start so imagine if i want to delete everything from e to the start so i just want the word blocks on there what you press is Control x don't press anything else yet and now if you press backspace it would delete everything oh sorry it doesn't include what's on the cursor so we can just do that so if we wanted let's say so if we wanted to just keep files what we would do is go into the f key go into f sorry Press Control X, backspace, that gets rid of everything before that. And that's really it. These shortcuts may seem simple, and they are, but they're extremely useful. They'll really save you a lot of time. And these are the sort of shortcuts that you see those, you know, expert users online on YouTube using that just look like wizards when they're using, you know, the bash terminal. It's these sort of shortcuts that really makes them look like wizards. So just you know practice just keep using them you know one way that i find you know is good to help with stuff like this is because you can pretty much do anything in the terminal try and do some stuff that you normally wouldn't in the terminal and as a result you'll just naturally get better because you know after this if i go to my desktop this video is being recorded which is what i'm recording right now once i end the video i'm going to rename it and then I'm going to copy it onto my external hard drive videos too. So usually, especially on Mac and Windows when I would record videos, I would just copy and paste in manually. What I'm going to do, I mean, you know, via the graphical user interface, you know, just like, uh, you know, right click rename and then also copy and then doing, you know, control V. But I'm going to do all of that in the terminal after this video, just for extra practice for me. So I recommend just do some daily stuff Obviously, be careful because you can, you know, sometimes, you know, as long as you don't start going to the root directory and doing stuff, you should be fine. Any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.